the Honorable Malema. Thank you very much, uh, President. Uh, my question is based on the trade embargo imposed on Cuba by the U.S. You will know that the U.N. voted that uh, the embargo must be lifted, and only two countries voted against. And the U.S. will use its veto powers to overrule that decision, and as a result, it will not be implemented. Don't you think that we need to do away with these veto powers by other countries, meaning maybe we should restructure the UN and the inability to restructure the UN, we might have to consider identifying the progressive forces in the UN and establish an alternative to the UN because we cannot be subjected to a permanent undemocratic practices which overrule the majority all the time when the superpowers do not have their, uh, uh, their way. The other thing, President, is that don't you think we should maximize our trade Sadly, with Sadly, your time has expired, Honorable An establishment of solidarity fund, maybe with Cuba like the Nigerians did. Don't say sit down, you never ask questions. Honorable Even your children know Malema. that you are useless, you don't ask questions. Order, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, point of order. Who's raising a point of on, order? Honorable Speaker, in terms of uh, or, 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 the laptop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. In terms of Rule 142, other than the time that uh, the oral member had exhausted, but also that the follow-up question should be restricted or limited to one question. Yes, that's But, true. however, Honorable Speaker, I would also like you to, to rule, if it's parliamentary for the oral member to say, we, we must shut up, we never ask questions. Is, is it really? We are useless, like he said. Hansard can then um, uh, confirm the exact word. Thank you. Honorable Malema shouldn't say an, an, another honorable member must shut up because he never asks questions. No, Speaker, they were saying I must shut up. Oh. You ruled that I must sit down, mm. and I continued. And then someone said, shut up. And, and, and I said, in answering that person, don't say Ubani because it's not you. Okay, take so a I seat now. So I answered, maybe someone from the gallery there. Why is this one jumping saying it's unparliamentary? You don't know who I'm talking to. Stop being chachara. <laughs> Honorable Malema, please uh, let's allow the president to answer the question. Honorable president. <laughs> order, order, Honourable. Madam Speaker. <laughs> Madam Speaker. Honourable God, please sit down. The member there who's being called to please. order is also doing this sketcher of Pinky Pinky to no, us here. Please just take a seat. Honourable President. Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker. I'm here. Honorable Speaker, I'm here. I'm sitting here listening to the President and people are talking about my name. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody talk about your name. Honorable President, I think honorable members are getting tired. They, they start being like this when they are getting tired. Honorable President, please answer. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, thank you very much. Uh, clearly the issue of the, the embargo against Cuba is a matter of concern to all of us and we continue to be dismayed that uh, instead of having the embargo lifted, uh, there's one country that continues to insist that that embargo should continue, whilst the people of, uh, the, of Cuba continue to suffer. So we are in full support that the embargo should be lifted uh, and it should be done with immediate effect.